Dear students, today we are discussing the very very important question. Why I am discussing this question, you know, any website or any YouTube channel not provided this answer. The many of the teachers and many of the students and many of the lecturers are searching this question. This complete solution I am providing. So let us, we go for the answer. See, what is the remainder when 3 to the power of 247 is divided by 17? But if we want to get this answer, we should not apply binomial theorem. We should not apply cyclicity properties also. If we are going like that, you are not getting that answer. So, for this solution, we have to apply the Fermat theorem. So, we go through the Fermat theorem. So, C, 3 to the power of 247 is divided by 17. Here, 17 is a prime number. If it is a prime number, we go through the Fermat theorem. So, here, the prime number P is equal to given. P is equal to 17 is given. Then, we go through the Fermat theorem. That Fermat theorem says that if P is the prime number, then a to the power of p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p, 1 modulo p, 1 modulo p. So, this is the Fermat theorem. We have to know this Fermat theorem. So, before that, what is the, what is the rule of the congruence? If a is congruent to b modulo m means, if a is divided by m, we are getting the remainder is b. Or a minus b is divisible by m. Both are the same. Okay. Both are the same. So, a to the power of p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p means a to the, if p is a prime number, a to the power of p minus 1 is divided by p, we are getting the remainder is 1. So, here p is equal to 17 is there. So, here a means 3 is there. So, 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 17 minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 1 modulo 17. We can write like this. This is mod, sir. This is mod. This is mod. Okay. 3 to the power 17 minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo 17. This says Fermat theorem. This says Fermat theorem. So, what it is? 3 to the power of 16 is congruent to 1 modulo n, 1 modulo 17. 1 mod 17, nothing but what? 3 to, if, when 3 to the power of 16 is divided by 17, we are getting the remainder is 1. We are getting from this Fermat theorem. Right? Fermat theorem. But here, that the power is 2 to the power of 47 is there. But here the power is only 16 is there. So, how many times it is rising, we can rise, we have to know. So, for that, I'm, what I am doing here, 247, 247, I am dividing by 16. 16 one times can, 16 one times is 16. And the remainder is 8. And I am carrying down the 7, then 16 5 times, that is 8. And the subtracting, the remainder is 7. Remainder is 7. So, what I am doing here, I am rising on both sides. I am rising on both sides by 15 times. 3 to the power of 16, I am rising, I am rising both sides, both sides by 15. E is congruent to 1 power 15 modulo, mod, modulo 17. We are getting Right? Why I am applying this method? We know this. If A is congru if A is congruent to B modulo B modulo P, if A is congruent to B mod P, then A to the power of some M is congruent to B power M B power M modulus of modulus of. If A is congruent to B modulo P, then A to the power of M is congruent to B to the power of M modulus seven. This application from this we have to know this is. 
So like that, if 3 to the power of 16 is congruent to 1 modulo 17, then 3 to the power of 16 rising 15, then both sides 1 to the power of 15, 15 rising, modulo 17, same thing. Clear? So from this, we have to apply this is. So this implication is what? 3 to the power of 240 we are getting. Right? Is congruent to 1 modulo, 1 modulo 17 we are getting. That is 17. This is the prime number. Right? But here, 3 to the power of 247 is there. If you want to 2 for 3 to the power of 247, so again we have to take 3 to the power of 7 on both sides. For example, a is congruent to A is congruent to B modulo B modulo some P is there. B modulo some P is there. Then A into K is congruent to B into K modulo modulo P also. Modulo P also. This case will satisfy. So like that. So 3 to the power of 240 into I am taking 3 to the power of 7 this side. This side 1 into 3 to the power of 7 modulo and modulo 17. Clear? So the same rule I am applying here. That rule is applying here. So then this becomes 3 to the power of 247 is congruent to sorry, is congruent to 3 to the power of 7 modulo modulo 17. Modulo 17. But this is the value, this value, but actually this is the remainder. But the remainder is more than of 17. Again, we can apply the congruent rules. But 3 to the power of 7, 3 to the power of 7 is equal to, this value is 3 square into 3 square into 3 square into 3. So this value is the 9, this is the 9, this is the 9 into 3. So this is. 9 nines 81, 81 nines 7, 7, 29 into 3. That means 1, this is 27, 2 keep aside, 3 to 6 plus 2 is 8 and uh, 3 7 is 21. This is the final. 2187 divided by 17. What is the remainder? So, that is our remainder. Am I right? So, what shall we do? We divide by 17 again. 2187 divided by 17 we take. 17 we take. 17 one times carries. 17 one times is 17. And the remainder is here. Subtract that is 4. Again carry down this 8. That, then it becomes 48. And 17 2 times, 17 2 times 34 and subtract this is 4, this is 1. Again bring down that 7, bring down that 7. Now 147, 17 how many times carrying means 8 times carrying, 8 times, 8 7 is 56, 8 to 1 times 80, 80 plus 56, 136, 136. So what is the remainder here? One, one. This seven, this eleven is less than of seventeen. This eleven is less than of seventeen. Finally, the remainder is equal to the remainder. The remainder is is the remainder is eleven. This is the correct answer. If you like this sum, please subscribe and share to your friends also. Thank you. Thank you very much.